it's protest season, and I got a rare one-on-one -on -one with the chairman of the Dallas Appraisal Review Board. Those are the people you're trying to convince to lower your taxable value. Now, the chairman says, yes, they want to see your explanations and your pictures that make the case for lowering the value of your home. And he says, if you have structural issues like any of these, it carries a lot of weight with them if you have written estimates for work that you need done around your house. He has a lot of evidence that something's wrong with your house and it needs to be done. It doesn't mean that you have to get the work done. It just says, here is an estimate that needs to take and be considered. Jim Chapman also advises if you're protesting, the review board likes it if you give them a peek at your kitchen and your bathrooms. Now, normally you want those rooms to make a good impression with guests. Not here. Kitchens and bathrooms with bad drainage, leaks, stains, outdated tile, old counters and cabinets and fixtures, places other people might not want to eat or go to the bathroom are wonderful helpers to to lower your home value at the appraisal district because those would likely also lower your home's value with potential buyers. And the board doesn't know about all that if you don't show them. We can take a look at that, but looking on the outside of the house, we've seen some beautiful houses in, in Dallas County. And then we get to see the inside of the pictures and you think, oh my gosh. So yes, let's go ahead and uh, make a correction here. And most of the time, the appraiser will agree to it too. Of course, as we discussed last week, you also want to give the review board your own handful of comps, those comparable home sales near you from last year. The appraisal district compared your home to others that sold. You're trying to find homes like yours that sold for less than what they found. You can get comps from any real estate agent, but the Dallas Appraisal Review Board chairman told me something I had never heard before. He said, tell whoever is helping you to make sure that your comp are from the same neighborhood code. Wait, the what now? The neighborhood code is a code that's assigned by the appraisal district. And there's probably five or 6,000 neighborhood codes uh, just in Dallas County. They're like tiny little subdivisions and they can be tricky. So just where I live, if I walk across the street, past the house that's in front of me, and I go past the alley, I'm in a different neighborhood code. Which explains why. I see it all the time, probably 95% of the time when comps are brought in, they're not in the same neighborhood code. That's a big problem because if your comps aren't from your neighborhood code and the appraisal district's comps are, the board will probably go with their comps. I know this is all a lot, which is why we have a special Yolitics podcast episode this week on appraisal protests. Get it by snapping a pic of this QR code or you can find it wherever you get your podcasts. Meantime, there's a wealth of info in my latest article posted at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook and Twitter to help you protest right on the money.